Hi, I'm Captain Oak Stanford with Texas Fish Tips. It's your weekly fishing report. All right, guys, it's going to be a little windy this weekend, but there's been some good fish. Uh, in this deeper water right here on the Fina docks right here, these old pilings or some uh, white markers marking them, be careful. But there is some bull reds or some slot reds mixed in there as well. Shrimp is a way to catch most of them. You'll catch a lot of hard heads, a bunch of other fish along the way. But mullet will work as well if you can get you some uh, finger mullet. Uh, croaker works as well. Now, if you get over here on this side, Martin Midstream area, there's some rocks right here in this area. Uh, anywhere's down through these pilings, there's been some really good reds. We've caught some nice trout on croaker. We've caught them on shrimp. Either one. Uh, cut mullet works for, for the reds sometimes too. Throw shrimp, you catch everything. There'll be mangroves to sheep's head in there, but there's all kinds of good fish. This corner right here by the Lighthouse Lakes has been holding some nice red fish. Incoming tide is the best time to hit it. It's been on or off. Sometimes there's red, sometimes there's not. There's a few mixed trout in there, but mainly red fish. Uh, and you can throw a croaker in there or even a live mullet and get them. Now, going down the Lydian Channel, right down through here, then get into the Lighthouse Lakes. This big slough right here, this deep channel, if the water's falling out, there's good fish. They'll be right in that channel. They can't get out. Now, if the water's up, we've been catching some nice redfish all out here in the shallow water. Uh, the water's been high lately, and we've been catching black drum on the shrimp and also using uh, mullet from catching the reds. All right. If you can get out on the jetties and it's not too windy, there's been lots of bull reds. That bull red run is on. There's been some tarpon landed, uh, but cut mullet is the best thing, or finger mullet if you can get them. Croaker works. Uh, piggy perch if you can catch them. Sometimes if you're fishing off the jetties, just get you another little fishing pole and take some shrimp, catch perch right there and put them on the hook, chunk them back out in that deeper water. That's where you'll catch them bigger ones. But there has been some good fish all down through. There's been a few sharks mixed in there as well. Now, if you get on down the Lydian Channel, on that quarantine shoreline, right down through here, there's been some nice redfish all down through. Outgoing tide has been working the best right down through here. Uh, cut mullet, finger mullet, uh, or if you want to just use artificial, you can get out here and go wade fishing. Leave your boat in deeper water and just wade that shoreline down through here and you'll catch trout and reds. If you use nothing but just a gold spoon, you'll catch your fish. But there's a lot of good fish mixed in right down through here. Now, on the outside of Trailer Island, all down through here, fishing shallow, we're catching redfish. There's a few black drum mixed in there if you're using shrimp. And just move down a little bit. You'll find your little pothole, little sandy beach. Throw your cut mullet up there. Don't catch it. Move down a little bit. Keep on doing it. Uh, but it's been a really good area for these catching some nice redfish and some slot reds as well. Okay, back here in the Lighthouse Lakes, this little deeper hole right here has been holding some nice redfish. That water drops out if you got an airboat or you can kayak in there and wade in there. There's been some really good redfish in there. All down this channel has been holding some nice redfish as well. Uh, and it's a good place to hide out when that wind is too windy. Now, South Bay, right here on the shoreline, right through here, works great. That water's going to drop out, that north wind's going to blow, and there's going to be some really nice fish down through here. And this little cut right here as well, uh, cut mullet will work real well. Shrimp catches it all. Like I said, you'll catch all the hard edge and all the perch, but you will catch a few redfish mixed in there with it as well. All right, on north wind, right here on this side of the hog island, that wind blowing into that island works pretty good for redfish. There's also some good trout mixed in there, but mainly redfish. Now, when you get that north wind blowing, it filters that water right through this little cut right here. You can set up on the edges, get in the middle. I don't care, but there's a lot of good fish coming through. There'll be a lot of redfish. Uh, outgoing tide, there may be a lot of current there, but you'll still catch you some nice fish. Any of these little islands down through here, as that water pushes up back up these little mangroves in this whole area, that'll be a good place to catch your redfish. Cut mullet's the way to go. Okay, this little flat right here has been holding some nice redfish. You can get out and wade fish. Even that north wind blowing, it's not a bad place to be. Uh, but it's been holding some really nice redfish in here as well. Any of these potholes down through this island, right down through, has been holding some nice reds. Uh, sometimes you can't see that pothole if that water gets too muddy, some of that stuff going on. Uh, but you just have to try a little bit, move down, try again. And right here on this point, it's been holding some nice reds as well. Cut mullet is the best way to go. Okay, on that big old north wind blowing, it's a good place to get right here on the south end of this Mustang Island right down through here. Uh, it's a good protected area, but there's been holding some nice redfish all down through here. You can wade fish. 
or you can use your artificials or you can use cut mullet in the potholes working pretty good there's been some really nice reds in there anywhere's down through here has been holding some nice reds uh, this cut right through here by these houses has been holding some nice black drum so take you some dead shrimp with you take plenty of it because there's a lot of hard edge and a lot of perks but there is some good drum down through here as well and they like the crab flavored fish bites if you can find them uh, anywhere's down this bank has been holding some nice reds and some trout good old flat old cut this whole bank right here on this north side has been holding some really good reds uh, you're fishing in deeper water or throw up on the bank uh, cut mullet's the way to go there's a lot of perch and hard edge in there you're gonna lose a lot of bait but there is some good redfish in there as well and there is schools of black drum in there thanks for watching i'm captain doug stanford